Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sewing Talk Tuesday. My name is Anissa, and I am the crafty author. And today we are going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about quilting, but what I'm going to show you are some quilts that I have made. And I did mention this last week in the in episode two of Sewing Talk Tuesday. Uh, where I told you I was going to showcase some of the quilts that I have made and that are finished. Um, I have used a regular domestic sewing machine to make some of these. And also I have used my, um, my Janome machine, which is a quilting machine. And so I'm just going to show you some of these so you can see what you can do with your own home domestic sewing machine. And so we're going to go ahead and get started with that. I hope everyone is doing well today. And I hope you're enjoying Sewing Talk Tuesday because I am. I think it's a lot of fun where I get to sit here and chat with you about everything that I, that I love to do with sewing. And so um, I don't have anything new today to share with you as far as product wise because I finally stopped buying stuff. <laughs> I think my husband was really happy about that. Well, except for, no, that's not true. Um, I did buy some thread um, the other day at Joann's. They had a buy three, get three free. So I stocked up on lots and lots of thread. And I used the Gu Guterman, I think is how it's pronounced, Guterman thread. Um, I also use superior threads, but for like my piecing and, and even quilting, I use the Guterman thread. It works really well for me. My machine seems to like it. And so there's that. And yes, I have crazy hair again today. Um, I'm actually growing my hair out. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> so we'll see how long it lasts before I chop it all off again. I'm just I mean, it's at that really weird in-between length, you know, and um, I can't decide what I want to do with it yet. So, in a ponytail, it went today. I'm just not messing with it today. Okay, so let's focus on a quilt that I made for my son for Christmas. Uh, did we get this year or last year? Not this Christmas. The, la the Christmas before. So Christmas of 2017. Um, my son is a huge, huge, huge wrestling fan. Some of you have probably seen pictures of this quilt. Um, got my coffee. Some of you have seen this quilt. Um, not on video, but... No, I don't think so. Not on video. I don't think I did a video for this. I'm pretty sure I didn't because I didn't even have my channel in 2017. All right. So he is a huge wrestling fan, WWE wrestling fan, and has been ever since he was a little boy. And so um, he's 26 now, but um, he, he still loves wrestling. So I made him a quilt. It's a queen-sized quilt, actually. This is what it looks like up close. You can see the... I don't know if I can flip this around so you can see it so that it's directional. There we go. I also made matching pillows to go with this. Uh, pillowcases that you can remove and wash. But like I said, this is a queen sized quilt. And of course, you're not going to be able to see the whole quilt in its entirety, but you'll get the, the gist of it. Okay. And this is what the back looks like. And the way I quilted it was I did kind of like a, well, let's look at the front. It'll be easier for you to see it. I did like almost a star pattern there where you see it's going from each angle. Now this quilt is very heavy and it was made using a technique called quilt as you go. So yes, I made this using quilt as you go, queen size uh, quilt very heavy and um doing this i made this on my singer machine my singer domestic home machine so you can make extremely large quilts on your domestic sewing machine 
that was what I was trying to make the point of last week, is that you don't need anything fancy, you know. You use what you've got until you can work up to that. So then, I also made this on a Singer machine. This one I made, this is for my son again. This one was made, oh my goodness, I think for his 18th birthday. So, this is a rag quilt made of fleece. And it's kind of, it's just a throw, but it is quite large because it's for a guy. But as you can see, it's got the X in the middle. Maybe the black piece will be a little easier to see that. Yeah, so it's just got the X going in the middle. And then what I did, so I took for this one, I did this again, like I said, on a domestic machine. I took two pieces of, um, come on, fleece, fleece for this. So the camo is fleece and so is the backing is fleece. And so are the, is the black piece. Anyway, <clears throat> so what I did was I just sewed it together like I would normally for a rag quilt and then I ragged the edges. Now you can see that these don't curl up and that's because this is fleece. And this was a very thick blanket. Um, but as you can see, that's what the back looks like. It just, it turned out so cool. Look at this. Isn't that neat? Now I have, I have pictures of these on my Pinterest board. Um, so you're more than welcome to take a look at those over at Crafty Author on um, Pinterest, if you'd like. You can see some of my other quilts that I've made. This one is a recent quilt that I made for my dog. I love her. Um, so I bought, or I made this for her. These are fat, this is made from fat quarters. And I got these fat quarters at Joann's. And my dog loves to lay on my couch and so and, and lay on me at nighttime. So I just wanted to make her something special. So I just made her this cute little doggy quilt out of those fat quarters. Okay. And then, and don't look at the back because it's got a ton of hair on it, but um, I backed it with fleece, with white fleece. I know, stupid because. It's a, a black dog, but <laughs> I worked with what I had, you know. I just kind of threw this together. I did this one on my Janome machine. I just sewed it regularly, and I just rib it, or yarn tied it. She loves her blanket. The next quilt that I have here was made on a domestic machine um, on the Singer, and this was actually a block swap that I was part of. And this is a double pin wheel block. This one is my block that I made right here. And so I, I love this blanket. It is so pretty, it's so, so beautiful. And then on the back, I backed it with this really cool fireworks fabric. It's very, very patriotic. Um, I think something like this would be great for a vet. And then I just free motion quilted it. And I did this again on my Singer domestic machine. I almost forgot to show you this quilt. I can't believe I almost forgot to. So a couple of years ago, uh, I made a quilt. It's a Harry Potter quilt. It is called the Project of Doom. It truly is dooming. <laughs> it's a ton of work, um, but it's beautiful. And I have made two of them since I made, well, I've made one more since I've made this one. I made one for my sister last Christmas. I don't have hers here. She has it at her house. Um, but I'm going to show you the one that I made for me. And it is my favorite quilt that I have ever made. I'm not even going to lie. Um, it is a free pattern. And you can get it at fandominstitches.com. 
um, and the designers over there are fantastic and they also have other different patterns that you can get it is paper piecing and you can use it for your own personal use you cannot sell these quilts um, you can make them for charity and give them away but you cannot cannot sell them so and after you get done making one let me tell you you do not want to sell them you want to keep them yourself <laughs> or give them to people that you love okay so I'm gonna show you the quilt that I made I made this quilt using quilt as you go on my singer domestic machine this is a probably a twin sized quilt I sleep with it every night because I love it that much and it has some loose threads and stuff on it that I need to fix but here it is. So this is the top with the little frog. It's a bookshelf, as you can see. Okay, I'm trying to let you see all these little characters that are on here. This is kind of hard. pretty cool it is really cool here's my Dobby on the side like I said this was all done through paper piecing and I quilted this myself and I quilted every little piece every little object in here and I went around it and stitched and then I did just some free motion quilting in there in each of the blocks it took me four months to make that quilt and that's about how long it takes me to make um those types of quilts with the paper piecing now it took me about four months to do my sisters too and that was working on it every night after work so every day i worked on a piece of that quilt <laughs> very time consuming but it's so worth it in the end because it's just amazing. I love it. And I have had some people ask me to show that quilt. So there you have it. Oh, this little pixie, the Cornish pixie, excuse me, that little pixie right there took me six hours to piece it. <laughs> I was ready to throw it out the window. <laughs> so guess you know which one gave me the most troubles don't you <laughs> so anyway that's the harry potter quilt check her out at fandominstitches.com the next quilt i am going to show you is the quilt that i made my husband for his birthday this was done on my um my janome and this quilt i actually purchased the pre-cut fabrics from whatchamacallit, uh, Jordan Fabrics. And so if you're interested in this, you can you can get this. And it's also that pattern, same pattern. I just um, put my own borders on it. But this is my husband's quilt. Okay, this is what the back looks like. I believe this is a grunge, this is a grunge fabric. I think by Moda and as you can see I just free motion quilted it I just did a stippling stitch my husband really likes that stitch so that's what I went with you can see kind of what it looks like on the front and then I made a tag a quilt label which I need to start doing for all my quilts I'm terrible about this but that's what I did for that. And I just used my machine stitches to do it. And then of course, you're all familiar with the quilt that we made together, which is the scrappy quilt that turned out so cool. <laughs> and everybody loves this quilt when they come over. It's very heavy, 
my dog especially loves it, which is why she got her own quilt. Remember, we just free motion quilted it with a stippling stitch. It's very scrappy and very cool. So, uh, got lots of quilts down here now. So, that's what I have today for quilts. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the things that I've made. Um, I just, I love making quilts. They're so much fun for me. I find it very, very relaxing. And so, that's going to be it for Sewing Talk Tuesday today. Let me know what you think about these quilts. If you have any questions, please put your please put your questions and your comments down below in the comment box. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can get all those details in the um, description box as well. Let's see. Oh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps YouTube to get me seen more so that I can do some really cool tutorials for you guys on YouTube. And also don't forget to click subscribe and hit that little bell so that you'll get notified each time I upload a video. So guys, keep on crafting and enjoy the quilting process. I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye-bye.